whatever we do, let's keep thinking till we think it through. We can do it when we do it together. I've got an idea, and though we might mess up, we'll put our hands together and we won't give up. to say goodbye to a good friend who was going away? It's not easy to do, is it? And then you miss them, right? That's what happened to Edwina. It all started one day when... What's your name? <laughs> uh, Edwina. Hi, Edwina. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Ziggy, zaggy, zoo! To meet Hello, you. Lexi. We were just apple smushing and mud flapping. Sounds like fun. It is. Gotta go. See ya. Zig and Zag and Zoo! They're perfect for each other. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. You're a great friend, Lexi. We like all the same things. We both love to run around and make noise. We both love to make up silly games. And we both love the moon. Zika, Zika, Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting cold. Yep, winter's coming. Hi, Edwina. Where's Lexi? Taking a nap. She takes lots of naps lately. That's because it's almost time for Lexi to hibernate. Hibernate? What's that? Hibernation is something bears do in the winter. They go into their caves and they don't come out until spring. Spring? Uh, Lexi's gonna be gone until the spring? But, but, but that's such a long time. I'll miss her so much. How could I say goodbye to Lexi? Don't worry, Edwina. We'll figure this out. 
Maybe we better hop think on this. How can Edwina say goodbye to Lexi? A big hug is always a good place to start. A hug. Yes, Lexi loves hugs. And then wave and call out goodbye. But not just any goodbye. It has to be a special Lexi goodbye. Oh, I know what to say. But maybe she'll forget me. Oh, Lexi will never forget you, Edwina. Just like you'll never forget her. But if you want, maybe you can give her a present. Something special to remember you by. What does Lexi like? Uh, lots of things. Leaves and apples and the moon. The moon? Hmm. This stone looks like the moon. Do you think Lexi would like it? It's perfect, Mouse. Thanks. <gasps> Lexi! Ah, <laughs> oh, Edwina. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. I have something to tell you, and it's kind of sad. You have to go and hibernate, right? That's right. But why? We're having so much fun. Lexi doesn't have any choice, Edwina. Bears need a lot of food, and there's just not enough for them to eat in the wintertime. So their bodies go to sleep until the snow melts and the plants grow again. I'm sorry I didn't tell you, Edwina. I just didn't know how to say goodbye. I'm really gonna miss you, Lexi. I'm going to miss you too, Edwina. But remember, I am coming back after my long sleep. We'll be together in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Um, you could keep this moonstone next to you all winter. When you wake up, you'll think of me, and we could play again. This is the nicest goodbye present ever, Edwina. Thank you. Bye, Edwina. Have fun this winter. See you in the spring. Goodbye, everyone. Hurry back, See you, Lexi. Lexi. Miss you. See you. Come find me when you wake up. Ziga Zaga Zoo! Ziga Zaga Zoo! Very nice goodbyeing, Edwina. Thanks. Edwina looks really sad. I can guess just how she feels. Imagine if we couldn't play with each other for the whole winter. We have to think of some way to cheer her up. We better hop think. Edwina is sad because she misses Lexi. What can we do? Maybe we should go and get Lexi back. Hmm, we can't. Lexi really needs to hibernate. Okay then, what is it about Lexi Edwina likes so much? I know. They both like to run around, make a lot of noise, and make up silly games. Thumbika, that's it. We'll make up a game for Edwina doing all the fun stuff she liked to do with Lexi. Great thinking. That way she can remember Lexi while she's having fun playing a game with us. Jasper, you go and get some of the apples we collected for winter. Come on, Mouse. Hey, Edwina. Oh. Shh. Mouse. Hi, Edwina. Hi. You miss Lexi, right? Uh-huh. I can see why. Lexi was your special friend. Thing is, we've made up a game, and we need your help. I don't feel like a game. You'll like this game. We call it the Lexi game. The Lexi game? Yeah, the Lexi game. First, you gotta run through a pile of leaves. <laughs> You jump into the mud and mud flap. Oh. Yay! <laughs> flap, flap, flap! <laughs> oh. oh, this mud is cold. But anything to help Edwina feel better. Next, you get an apple and you smush. <laughs> You just smush! <laughs> <laughs> well, you get the idea anyway. 
That's how you play the Lexi game. Isn't it characteristic? <laughs> it sure is, Mouse. Only, only that's not exactly how you play. Watch me. First, kick your feet up high in the leaves so they really fly. Zig and zag and <laughs> Jump in the mud puddle and really wave your arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> then pick up an apple like this and smush. Ooh, yum. Here, Mouse, have some of mine. And that is the right way to play the Lexi game. <laughs> Let's play again. Thanks, Edwina. We knew you could help us. Zig a zag a zoo! Zig a zag a zoo! Yay! <laughs> 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 Edwina was really sad to say goodbye to Lexi, but we helped her understand that Lexi will be back so they can play again. In the meantime, we'll play with Edwina. After all, that's what friends are for. zig a zag -a zoo <laughs> Here, Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> wanted to do something that really bothered someone else? Or maybe someone wanted to do something that really bothered you. How did you fix it so no one was being bothered? Just a while ago, the Gibble Goose girls had the exact same problem. Gigantic wave. Where did it come from? Over there. Come on. Goose Girls, I'm Emmett, and I just moved in. Moved in? My old pond? Much smaller than this one. It dried up in the hot sun. But these things happen, so here I am. Oh, welcome. Yes, welcome, I guess. Oh, what's wrong? Aren't you happy to have a new neighbor? Oh, yes. It's just that. It's just what? Speak up! Don't be shy! Well, the big waves from your lily pad leaping makes it impossible for us to do our dance. We waggle when we dance. We waggle a lot. But we can't waggle in the waves. Huh, what to do? Maybe there's some way to share the pond. You mean some way you can waggle while I hop? Can you do your hopping on the shore? But I like hopping on lily pads. Can you put some lily pads on the shore and hop on them there? Not the same, not even close. Oh, I know. What if I tiptoe from lily pad to lily pad, just like this? See, very small wave. That's swimmy. Extra swimmy. Now we can share. Thanks, Emmett. Welcome, Welcome to, to the pond. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you. Delighted to be here. This pond deserves to have a big bullfrog like me. Tippy-toe, tippy-toe, tippy-toe. Hmm. Tippy-toeing is harder than hopping and not as much fun. Well, if I can't have fun, I might as well have a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Swimmy! And no waves! Now what? A race! <laughs> What's all that racket? Can't a frog take a nap around here? <laughs> Awful noisy there, neighbors. I'm trying to sleep. Oh, sorry. 
Now, I'm not telling you not to race. We all want to share the pond, but maybe you could do it a little slower and a little quieter. No honking, no splashing. No honking, no splashing? <sighs> Let's try. Here we go. <laughs> it's just not as much fun. And believe me, I understand. But a bullfrog has to nap once in a while. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Look! There's Mouse and Rabbit. Let's ask them. <laughs> ask them what? To help. Yeah, they're good at helping. Hey, guys! Emmett, this is Mouse. And this is Rabbit. Mouse, rabbit. Hope I can keep your name straight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the pond, Emmett. Thanks, but here's the thing. Nice place, except for all the noisy racing. We like to race. As fast as we can. And that means honking. Which wakes me up. But we can't have fun if we don't honk and splash. I think we need a hop think. A uh, hop think? Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm good at hopping and good at thinking, so I ought to be great at this. Here we go. Question. How can the Gibble Goose girls race and splash and honk without waking Emmett? They have to find a way to share the pond. Uh, we want to share the pond and be good neighbors. We want to be considerate. Very considerate. But we want to race, too. Can you race on the shore? Uh-uh. My feet would get sore. What if Emmett couldn't hear you racing? Impossible! Splash, splash, honk, honk. It's very loud. Thumpika! <laughs> I've got it! Uh, must. Uh-huh. Great idea, Rabbit! I bet you can't hear a thing now. Pardon? Yay! What did you say? I think we solved the problem of the girls' noise bothering you. That's good. This hop thinking is fun. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> uh, back to nap time. Uh -huh. <laughs> what happened? I uh, must have slipped. I'm okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I'm not. It's hard to keep a bell. Bell, bell, bell. Oh, uh, I, I can't sleep with moss on my head. <laughs> and I definitely can't sleep with that noise. <laughs> Some of us are being noisy again. The rabbit fixed that problem. Sure, I couldn't hear, but I couldn't stay on my log either. Head was too heavy. What are we going to do now? Well, I hate to say it, but maybe one of us needs to find another place to live. But we like it here. So do I. But who would go? And who would stay? Someone must decide. But who? Quivering whiskers, you want to leave the pond? And give up your home? We don't want to. There must be some way to work this out so everybody can share the pond and use it the way they want to. Time for a very important hop think. Question. Do you really want to leave the pond? No. Question. Do you really want to share the pond? Yes. yes. Good. That's a carrot-tastic start. <laughs> Rabbit's right. It's easier if you all want the same thing. But I also want to leap over the lily pads and have my naps. And we also want to dance our dance. And we want to have races. What if we said, this is your half of the pond and this is their half? But how would the noise or the waves know whose half was whose? Hang on a hop. You say racing and napping don't go together. Uh-uh. But you can race when Emmett's awake. Uh-huh. And dancing and lily pad leaping don't go together. Uh-uh. But you can dance when Emmett's not making waves. Uh-huh. So, why don't you take turns? Hmm. Might work. We could try. When do you nap? When I'm in the mood. Oh. Well, when do you dance? 
when we're in the mood. You could dance all day. You could nap all day. But that wouldn't be sharing, would it? That means being fair, taking turns. We can be fair and take turns. But how will we know when Emmett is napping? And how will I know when they want to dance? I know. We need a signal. That's smart. Hey, that's really <laughs> smart. Uh, I, I want a signal, too. Something you can see from far away. Then you'll know when I'm going to take a nap. Hmm. But we haven't got a signal. Hmm. Hmm. Um, why is everyone looking at Rabbit? <laughs> because my friend Rabbit is the best inventor ever! Aha! Here you go, Emmett. You pull the vine, and up goes the lily pad. We'll call this News of the Snooze. <sighs> Makes me sleepy just looking at it. And here's your signal. Pull the vine, and up goes your lily pad. Let's call this the Gaggles a Waggle. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Here they come. <laughs> it's a close race. They're beak and beak. <laughs> News of the snooze alert! <laughs> and here they come to the finish line! It's a four-way tie! Because Emmett and the girls wanted to get along and share the pond, they found a way to let each other know when it was time for Emmett to nap and time for the girls to pond dance. And sometimes when it was time for everyone to play together. Ready? Ready. Boing, boing. <laughs> <laughs>